I was just trying to dig that hole and I couldn't find it. I dug the hole all out. I threw my shovel right here. It was stuck to my shovel. Check this out right here. It's right there. You know what that is? Let's hit the road. Well, I'm out here on location now, and right back here behind me is where me and Nugget hunted. And you can see it's quite windy today. And right out here in this open area, right in here is where I found that uh, 1875 tough button, general service button. So I'm gonna hunt way out in here, just grid this off. We have more places back, back in there. And uh, I wanna save that for another day. But uh, I'm here, let's get suited up now. I'm gonna be hunting with my Equinox today, just on regular stock, uh, uh, Park One, multi-frequency, and things like that. So let's get out here and let's get the swinging. Let's see what we can find today. As you can see, I'm just gonna be hunting down this fence line, over to those trees right there, then back up here and back over. Just about a 200 by 200 foot square. We have found a lot of stuff right out in here. So I wanna grid this. We haven't gridded it very well. And so, and uh, over there in that other pasture, through those trees, is another day. We haven't hunted that spot yet. So let's get out here, let's get going. All right, I got a really good signal right here. 2324. Only showing about four inches deep. Let's uh, set this up and let's uh, get the camera set up and let's do a dig on this. All right, this is a very good signal. I don't know what it's going to be, but let's uh, get in here and let's find out. All right. Don't know where it's at. Well, I can't find it. Maybe. My pro phone is working. Wow, that's weird. Let's get the... I can't tell. I've lost it. Might have been trash. Let's uh, try it again. All right, maybe it's right there. I may have already knocked it out of the hole. Okay, I missed it. All right. Definitely got it then. Wow, it must be small. Oh, there it is. I knocked it out of the hole. Did y'all see that? No, I didn't see it. Right there. That is going to be a 1911 barber dime check that out 1911 barber dime it's time to break out the holy water if i have any holy water left in here yeah i like that 1911 Barber. Haven't been here that long. 
just at all. Some of y'all been complaining. Not complaining. You've just been telling me that I shouldn't rub my coins. I try not to. I need a new water bottle, don't I? All right, that's going to be good enough for what we're going to do. There it is. A 1911 Barber Dime. I knew that there's got to be some stuff out here. We dug some good stuff out here. And uh, so here we go. That's going to be number one. Let's keep on going. Let's see what else we can get. Let's get some pictures and keep on rolling. All right, it's getting a real jumpy tone right here. 19 to a 22. It's small. It's going to be right there. So let's uh, let's do a live dig on this. Try to do live digs on these things. The closer I get to the trees over here, the more trash I'm getting. And let's see. Yeah, that's one right there. It's a lead bullet. Probably got a copper jacket. It's a modern bullet. All right. I'm, I'm trying to dig these 1920 signals because we haven't got an Indian out here yet. And uh, I know there's got to be some out here. There's some very early Wheaties. But uh, all right. Just another find. Let's keep on going. All right. I think I got a good signal here. Twenty-one at about six inches. All right, let's see what that's going to be. Probably trash. No. Nope. The heck, I don't know what where it is. Not in the hole. I think it's all I've ever seen. Now I can't even find it. Let me come back to it. Let me turn the camera off. We'll come back to it. Well, I cannot find it anywhere. It must just have been a piece of trash. All right, let's keep on rolling. Oh, I tell you, I was just trying to dig that hole and I couldn't find it, but it was a good, it was a good signal. I mean, it was a 2021 20, solid, about four to about four inches deep, six inches deep. I dug the hole all out and uh, could not find it. But where I threw my shovel, but there's my hole right there. And when I dug, I threw my shovel right here. It was stuck to my shovel. And when I check, re, re, recheck in the area, check this out right here. It's right there. It was stuck to my shovel. You know what that is? I think I got one cent. Oh man, this is a good one too. It's in great shape. Check that out. Coins have been coming. 1904. 1904 Indian head. Check that out. The coins have been coming out of the ground here just super clean because of the sand. And uh, wow, man, I'll take an Indian. Finally got one, 1904. Stuck to my shovel, thrown right out here on the side. That's why I couldn't find it in the hole. I knew I wasn't that bad of a detector. All right, let's get some pictures and keep on going. All right, I got a very good signal right here up in the trees. Ringing up a 24, 25. That's six inches deep. 24, 25, six inches deep. All right, let's uh, try to live dig this. Got some roots in here. All right, come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. A lot of roots. All right, still in the hole. Let's get past these roots. And let's hope it's not trash. I've been digging trash. All right, still down in the hole. Let's see if we can. All right, got it. Oh, looky there. 
Yes, yes. Turn this around for you guys can see this. The 1913 Barber Dime. Check that out. 1913. Let's set it up right there. Get a better shot. All right. I'll take these any day. Kind of got quiet on me out here. I've just been kind of gritting back and forth, back and forth. And after that uh, Indian head, it's been a, a little bit before I got anything. So I decided to quit gritting across the, the thing and work this tree line over here. Right behind me, right in that group of trees right back there is where I found that necklace, that snooky necklace with Nugget Noggin. So I'm getting close back to the home site. I don't know what went on down here. I have no clue. I just know from 1892 to 1930s, there's a lot of activity. And some of our theory is it could have been where they had some cockfighting and they was out in the fields and doing some cockfighting and there's just patches of coins. They're not just spread everywhere, but they're just in areas and groups. And uh, I don't know what this was, but uh, digging a lot of trash and uh, not, not a lot of uh, relics though. I've got, uh, got a a compact makeup case out of here. I got that button out of here. Uh, some Wheaties out of here. And um, and now I got these two barbers and that Indian. So I don't know what's going on out here. All I know is I like it. And I'm gonna keep on digging. So let's get some pictures. Let's keep on going. All right. Got a solid 13 right there at six inches. That sounds good. We've been digging buffaloes, but we yet to dig any V nickels or even possibly some uh, shield. Going back to 1892, we could almost get the shield, uh, but you never know what may be out here. But uh, anyway, let's uh, see what this is going to be. Oh, there it is right there. Came out of right here and just slid down. That's going to be another buffalo. That's what we've been digging out of here. Red looking buffaloes. And uh, that one may have a date on it. That's really good shape on this one. We dug some that had some good shape on them. Let me get out of the light. Maybe we can see it. Just a little better. Got a root there blocking the date. What date is that? Can y'all get the date on that? 1935. Okay, so that's going to put it a little bit later on. It's going to put it a little bit later on out here. 1930s to 1904. And, uh, but I'll take any of them. So let's get some pictures. Let's keep on rolling. All right. It's been a while since my last coin. That's a good high tone here. Jumping around though. 22, 24, 25. Right there, it's even getting a 30 out of it too. So I'm not really sure. Let me get my camera set up here. And uh, let's see what we got here. In case it's a quarter, let's kind of dig big. I haven't got a quarter yet. And well, I need a new pro pointer. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there in the ball. What's that going to be? Not that. What in the world? Did I get Bazinga again? Surely that's not. Yeah, I think I did. Another one of those uh, underwear buttons or whatever they are. Oh, gun it, man. I thought I had another silver. That's one thing about... Uh, digging on a virgin site like this and there's just so much coins you just 
you get to where you just start expecting the coins every time. And, uh, but it's just another underwear button. That's all it is, or whatever kind of button that is. All right, they're aluminum, they ring up good. Let's keep looking. Let's see if we can't find us a quarter or, or something old, you know. Jason and Nugget got a barber half on my permission, so that's good, but I want a barber half too. So uh, I'm in the hunt for a barber half, but, but let's, I'll take anything I get. Let's keep on going. Well, I'm going to move on from that uh, location there behind me. I found those four coins there, and it kind of got quiet, started digging, you know, some trash. And so I'm going to come over here to the other area that we have not hunted yet. I'll show you this area once I get to it. And I'm going to save this area. I'm just going to kind of go through it and see if I can find anything, kind of do a test dig today. I'm going to find one coin, whatever the coin it is, that's the only one I'm going to dig if I get a coin, and uh, and then I'm going to save it for another day for Army Man. I promised Army Man he couldn't make it out to uh, our location that I had the second juke joint I've located with the drone and all that, and uh, he had to uh, move his buddy. And I said, well, there's still one more location out here that we have not hunted yet. And let me turn you around. Let me show you this. What we've done is that we have hunted up in those trees over there. It's where me and Nugget killed it that day. And then just right outside the trees, from the tree line to this tree, down that open area, down to that tree right down there, and that tree and that group of trees there. On the inside of those trees and on the outside right here, we have hunted. And the, the signals have gone pretty quiet. Now we're going to dig here. This is the next site that I want to test, is this tree in a straight line to that tree. Me and Nugget hunted that open field down in there. But we're gonna talk about this tree, and then we're gonna go up this fence row to that big tree right there, and then back over to that tree right there, then cut back through right over here to where my detector is here. Now we've hunted back in here and found some house stuff and uh, some silvers. But if you look on the map that I showed you, Right through those woods, the road came right through here. The road was right there. And the road curved over this way toward those trees. So there was something out here because there's nothing out there. There's nothing out there. So the road must have went to something. They must have did something out here. And uh, so, uh, well, at least that's what I'm hoping. And uh, so let's get in there and let's see if we can't find us some coin. All right, I got a good signal. Moved over. I've been swinging about 15 minutes. I went up to that tree and came on down, came down here a couple of times and decided to come on down this way. And 26, 27. It's 26, 27, six inches deep. Let me uh, get my other camera. I'm going to do a live dig just in case because we are definitely in this section where I, we've been finding coins. I'm not too far away, so I want to get this uh, other camera set up and we'll uh, do a live dig. All right. I think the landowner's coming out. I hear a four-wheeler. I need to talk to her anyway. All right. Oh, I just see. I just saw it. It just popped it out. Look at that. Right there. That's going to be a mercury dime. A mercury dime. Get out in the light here. We know what year that's going to be. Let me kind of wipe that off. 1938. 1938 mercury dime. Boy, that was an easy live dig, wasn't it? It popped it straight out. All right, let's get some pictures. Let's keep on going. I just can't believe the amount of coins. This is a virgin site. And, uh, like I said, this, I was going to dig one hole. I dug two holes. One was trash, and this was the first good target. So I tested the, set, the area just a little bit. So I know there's potential for coins, so I'm going to save it uh, for another day. 
and uh, let maybe my friend Army Man come out here with me. He uh, been wanting to come out here, so I'm gonna just wait, hold off. I've done it enough today. I gotta go talk to the landowner about hunting the second site of the juke joint, and uh, so let's uh, go ahead and get some pictures of this. Let's uh, walk back to the truck. Let's do a wrap up. Let's go talk to the landowner. All right, I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for me for the day. I had a few hours to spend. I needed to come out and talk to the landowner anyway. And so I decided to come on out, hunt this one section. I was curious because I found that uh, general service button from the 1800s and we found some old Wheaties there and I found some other stuff, home items in the past. A couple of digs, we went out there a little bit, but we never did grid it off very well. So I wanted to ease my conscience and do that. And then I wanted to go over the other side and I wanted to see if, um, if I could find any coins out in that open field. And I found one, so it's promising. So I'm gonna hold off and come back later. But it wasn't a bad day, it was a pretty good day. Anytime you get silver, uh, I've just been kind of getting spoiled here lately because I've been digging all these silvers and, uh, and not every day can be a silver day, but I did get three today and I was happy about that. So let me turn you around, let me show you what I got. All right, well, here is the trash. You can tell it might've been, a, you know, shotgun stamps, uh, old cups, uh, just a bunch of stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, when you dig up one of these, it rings up like a dime it rings up so good those copper washers just a bunch of little trash and uh, that's mainly what i was digging and then i got fooled a lot by these uh i don't know if they're underwear buttons or what those aluminum four hole buttons they could be dress buttons i don't know undershirt buttons but uh and these button these bullets they also fooled me i was thinking each time they're going to be a a uh, thought those were going to be indians and these are going to be indians but they end up just being some some bullets Modern day bullets. I don't know if that's going to be buckshot, probably buckshot, but I did get one Zink and Lincoln. I tell you what, no matter what site you're on, you always get a stinking Lincoln. And uh, I did get one Buffalo nickel, 1935 on that one. That was in pretty good shape. These coins have been coming out of here in good shape because of the sand. I guess it just kind of rubs them and shines them up. A little bit and uh, 1904 Indian head that is a very good that's the first Indian head that I remember taking off of here uh, most of everything's been Wheaties from about 1910 on up from uh, to about 1920s uh, a lot of Wheaties a lot of Wheaties have been on top of the ground on top of that and then we got a Merck we got a 1938 Merck we got us a 1913 Barber and then we got us a 1911 the best coin for the day 1911 barber so almost got a trifecta uh i just needed a a rosy but there's not many rosies out here we dug one and so but not every day is a huge treasure day but uh, it was a good day nonetheless anytime you can get those right there especially barbers you're doing really good so there's all the trash and there's all the treasure like i always say the greatest treasure is not what can be found out here in a ghost town juke joint area the greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. All right, guys. It's trivia time. In my video, what did I find? Uh, we went and searched a uh, pre-Civil War home. We didn't really find a whole lot, but I did find one good thing. I found an Indian hit penny. What was the date? on that Indian head penny. The first one that can answer that correctly in the comments below is gonna win a PD sticker and something else. So what was the year of the Indian head penny that I found in the video and what did I find? All right, good luck everybody.